Hello, Katie. Could you tell me something about the collection of work in the installation today? We are the Middle East Quilt Artists, and the gallery is called Connections, connecting East and West. There's a, a big representation of, of work from different people who have all had ex different experiences living and working in the Middle East, and all positive, I would say. Um, you know, um, so yeah, so that's I think that's what gives it a very wide, varied, um, and very diverse work we've got here. Um, and I think that makes a very interesting gallery um, because we've got such a diversity here. And it shows, it really clearly shows in the work. We've had so many visitors here. Just a wealth of people coming through who have had experiences in the Middle East themselves. I spoke to a chap this morning who was cycled from Istanbul through to the Lebanon, to Beirut, in 1963 when he was 19. I mean, it's just it's stories like that, you know. He even spoke a little bit of Arabic when I offered him coffee. And just the, bringing people together, you know, and, and it's just enriching. It's really, uh, you know, so wonderful, all of it, yeah. I noticed you were handing out coffee earlier on and offering dates That's to right. some of the visitors. That's right, yes. I brought the dates with me from Abu Dhabi. They're a special small date because I thought it would be easier if I have a small dates than big medjools. So the dates are called Lulu and they're grown in the Emirates and they're a small, not a very sticky date. Um, and we offered that and we've been offering Arabic coffee which is a quite a mild coffee with cardamom that flavours it, a spice coffee. Yeah, and visitors have really enjoyed it. Yes, it's been a, that's been a huge success. A cornerstone of Arabic hospitality is serving dates and coffee, and you can go anywhere in the Middle East, and you can have. You can. I've been into small villages in the middle of nowhere in Oman, and been asked, invited into someone's house, and offered dates and Arabic coffee. So I wanted to bring it here. I wanted to bring that experience to visitors on our gallery because it is. It's an important part of the, the hospitality all over Arabia. Um, there's lots of colour in the work here. Some are very, very bright and colourful. Some are more muted, almost as if they're being viewed through a sandstorm, which often happen in the Middle East. And then we've got some pieces by one member who purely works in black and white, and they are equally stunning showing sort of like sunset skylines without the, the colours. So yeah, it's a very interesting collection of colours and styles and techniques and um, yeah. It would touch and go whether I would get the Iranian courts in time for the exhibition because it wasn't so easy to send work from Iran in the present day situations going on there. And so the lady who is responsible for bringing the quilts here, she was going for a family wedding to Berlin. She took the quilts with her and then she posted them to me with DHL, six days to go. I was still waiting for them on the sixth day. I phoned DHL and I went to the depot and they couldn't find them in the, in the warehouse. So after a nail-biting hour or so, they came. They eventually had found them and I had them. And there's such a wealth of diverse techniques and images and it's a wonderful collection that we've got today. And all the more enriched with those additional quilts that we eventually got from Iran. So there's a label referring to a free pattern available? Yes, the, the free pattern has been designed by Patch Iran. Um, by Michelle Gilder and it's available on our Middle East Quilt Artist page on Facebook and it's a free pattern for anyone to download. Thank you very much for your time today. You're very welcome, it's been a pleasure talking to you today.